What's up guys? Today we are going to be covering the Helium 10 Chrome extension. So I have this whole tutorial uh, and before I get started, I just want to say if you like the video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below. That really helps me out a lot. Um, that's, that's a way that you can support me. If you have any questions or you want to add anything that maybe I missed along the video, be sure to do that by leaving a comment below. And lastly, um, be sure to check out the description section, which is located below of this video. Um, and the reason is, you're going to find a lot of great stuff, but also you're going to find a link to the Helium 10 Chrome extension. And by the way, it is free. Okay. So it is 100% free to use the, uh, the Chrome extension that Helium 10 provides. Um, I use it on a regular basis. And, um, with that being said, right, basically within the Chrome extension, there's a lot of other tools and I'm going to, that's what I'm going to kind of walk through. And that's why a lot of people have questions about it. Um, but let me head over here to Helium 10 pricing real quick. Okay. Cause obviously there's the monthly, monthly plans. There are a la carte plans, meaning if you just want to purchase one of their products like Black Box, that would be $37 a month, right? So, um, so yeah, some different pricing options. Again, uh, it is free to use the Chrome extension. And then with that, right, using um, some of these tools that are available with the Chrome extension, like if I scroll down, um, X-Ray, for example, right? Um, you can use it 50 times. So I'd recommend doing, get the free Chrome extension. I'm going to show you how it works and how to use it. And then go to the pricing page. I'll also have, you need to do helium10.com uh, slash pricing. I'll include a link to that below as well. You just look at the pricing and make sure you understand so you don't use up, you know, your daily or your total uh, number of uses for a particular tool. Okay, so I just want to make that very clear, but it is free to use. So let's go ahead and actually get into using it. So first, what you'll do is go to Amazon, type in whatever product you're interested in. In this case, it's soap molds. So look, soap molds, um, we'll scroll down. And um, what we're going to do is, so you can use Helium 10, the Chrome extension in two ways. On the product, what I call the product category page, which is just, you know, a list of all different uh, soap mold products. And then you can look at a specific ASIN, right? A specific, like, um, you know, for example, we're actually going to analyze and look at this product right here. First, let's look at the category as a whole. So looking at the category as a whole, we have a couple options. And I use this one mainly right here, which is called X-Ray. Again, as you could, as you saw, you have 50 free uses with the free Helium 10 um, uh, Chrome extension. And basically with the link below, you click it. You just hit like it, you know, Google will ask you, do you want to add this to your Chrome browser? You'll say, or Chrome, whatever. You'll say yes. Um, then you'll have to create a free account and then you'll get access to this. Okay. So you just go up here and then when you want to use it, you just go up here and click really simple to use really easy. Okay. So that's what I did just to backtrack. So click on it, uh, go ahead and click on x-ray. What this is going to do is pull a, I use x-ray a lot. We pull a ton of phenomenal data from, um, from these sellers, right? So we look at uh, the top sellers, you know, in this category, and we can organize by, you know, uh, by a few different things. So, so we can organize the list by, you know, price. We can do by sales, right? We want to see who's generating the most sales, who's generating the most revenue, right? Who, you know, who has the buy box for this particular product? You know, is it an ad or is it an organic? So for example, right here, we have the top two search results, but these are both um, sponsored products, right? Which is why we have SP. Here's our first organic result. So a lot of really great information. Um, some information up here as well, but I, I like to look more within the within the chart here or within the table. So yeah, you know, price point. It's really cool. Here's we can, we can easily kind of quickly see sales for a particular product, um, and we can actually look to see is is overall like we look at like top ten sellers of this product. Are they overall increasing or decreasing? Right. So we just go ahead and click. So I just clicked into that graph, and it's going to kind of show me in detail. And as we can see here, really clearly, there's a downward trend right? A downward trend, right? For my face. Um, so if we see that consistently, right, maybe we look at, you know, the top 10 uh, products and we see that they're all decreasing or, or all increasing, right? That's going to help us uh, inform our decision for whether this could be a viable product for us to launch. Um, revenue, again, this is an estimated number, but very, very powerful. Um, BSR, right? And we can actually see, you know, it, it kind of shows us, you know, the BSR uh, trend. And then where else? Yeah, review count, and review velocity. So obviously review count really straightforward. You can kind of see that for yourself, but this kind of helps organize it along with their rating. But I really like this review velocity. Okay, this is really powerful. Um, so those that have higher review, review velocity, okay. And um, it's, you know, the you know so obviously right here, how, you know, how many reviews over the last 30 days. So we can see, you know, who's kind of crushing it with reviews. And generally, when you, even if they're a new, newer, you know, they're a newer product on the market, but you see that there's like, for example, I think what, what we just saw six, right? So they lost reviews here, it looks like. They lost, you know, right, negative 17 reviews, so something might have happened there. Um, that's very interesting, right? But that can kind of help you inform your decision and really pick out who knows what they're doing, right? 
they know how to generate reviews obviously more so than the other competitors here. So maybe I'll order their product and I'll see why it's, that's the case. Okay. So that's actually, I really like that. And that's why I want to call it out. So review, I, I really like to look at, um, with this, with this, um, here, I also like to look at images as just an overall, I can kind of see generally, um, sellers that have fewer images, right. Or it's easier to compete with them. Cause in general, they don't really know what they're doing. They have a lot more like images are so crucial. And yeah, the main image, even if it's great, right? They're missing out on a lot of opportunity by not having a lot. So that just helps show me, you know, is there, is there an opportunity for me? Can I compete? So I like to look at images. I like to look at review velocity, um, briefly just the review count, but I can also see that just on, um, for myself. I also look when I'm using this, I look at revenue and sales. So those are the main, those are the main, um, that's mainly what I use. And I can, I usually also organize by, um, revenue and, um, yeah, usually revenue or sales, right? Is what I like to organize and kind of see as well as page rank um, over here, which, you know, if we scroll back up, it should be the default. Oh. Or maybe I, there we go. We can organize by page rank. There we go. There we go. Okay. So yeah, anyway, you can organize it however you like. Um, that is one of the functions. Go ahead and exit out of that. There's also the ASIN grabber, um, which you'll see here. I don't use this as much. I believe to my knowledge, it is basically like X-ray, but for, you know, the like the very top. Uh, the top sellers, and it takes a little bit to load. You can kind of look into this if you'd like, but again, I don't use it too much. I like to use the X-Ray. So again, this isn't a tutorial about X-Ray. It's about the Helium 10 Chrome extension, but this is part of it. So it even takes me a little bit to exit out of this. So we're gonna exit out of this, and then what we're gonna do is go into a specific product. So I'm gonna go, and I wanna analyze this product specifically. So we click into here, and this is actually, and then this is where the Helium 10 Chrome extension has a lot more uh, functionality. All right, so what you're gonna notice is if you scroll down, Okay, we scroll down. You should see the Helium 10 extension load right below the bullet points. Okay, so we're gonna just give it a second to ultimately load. There we go. Sometimes it takes a little bit and I'm um, gonna have to move the page up. So this is really great. I use this a lot. So there used to be this tool called Keepa. And since Keepa is now paid, it used to be free. Now they're charging, I think like 15 bucks a month or something like that, which is pretty low. Helium 10 Chrome extension, this does the exact same thing that Keepa did pretty much, right? And actually does some other things that are really neat as well. So we can see price point. That's the blue line here. You see the price point is thirteen fifty five. So we can see a specific, you know, product. You know, we can look at their, 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 how much they're selling for right now, their product price right now. But we want to see how that's changed over time. And also, it'd be interesting to see how it correlates with their sell, their, their sales rank, right? So as we know, Amazon award or kind of gives a a sales rank for specific products. The lower your rank, the better. So the lower that this is, the better. The higher, the worse. Okay. So you just kind of have to reverse it a little bit. Because obviously, right, think about if you get really low, you're first. Would you rather be in first place or one millionth place, right? So you want to be in first place. So yeah, the lower, the better. So you can kind of see how they do over time. And it looks like overall, they're kind of, you know, their seller rank is increasing, which is a negative thing, right? It's, it's kind of going up, which looks kind of like a negative thing. But anyway, you can look at the, their, their, their price point. Uh, and you can see, and a lot of times, that'll, you can see how that kind of correlates with the, sa- the seller rank. Organize, you know. You can look at the past 24 hours, seven days, 30 days, 90 days, et cetera, right? And then all the time, you can see when they started selling on Amazon, which is really powerful too, right? You don't want to be analyzing products that have only been selling for less than two months, right? I like to see if they've at least been selling for at least two months or more to really have some solid data to where I'm not just, you know, going off of a brand new seller who's the data is going to be skewed, okay? So we saw that they started in, um, yeah, 715, 2018, um, and... Yep. So that I use this a lot. I use this a lot. And we also have x-ray, which will open up here keyword. So I believe this right here is Cerebro. So this will open up into, I believe the web app. Um, and this is for keywords. Again, you get a certain number of uses with the free, um, Chrome extension. So you can kind of look into that, um, listing optimizer and then profitability calculator. So, so with the Chrome extension, so I use this right here. Um, I use this a lot, actually what we're looking at right here, this graph. And then the other two that I really use a lot, um, for this specifically our inventory levels and profitability. I don't really use these three as much here for these purposes, but I like to look at inventory levels and profitability. So what inventory levels is going to show us, right? It shows us all this information, but what's really important is the stock, which will take a second to load. So if you're familiar with the nine, nine, nine method, you basically like add a product to your cart, hit nine, 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 just to see, um, just see how many products they have in stock that day. You do it the next day, the next day, the next day, and so on. And what that'll show you is actually how many they're actually selling per day and actually have from real data. Now, the reality is I've used this a lot. Many sellers, and maybe it's just in my niche, but a lot of sellers have set, as you can see, a, a maximum order quantity to where if you hit 999 on, you know, do that method or you look here at Helium 10 
um, it's just going to show you what they've set their max to be. So you can only order a maximum of 20 units. So that doesn't really help us out as much, like because it'll pretty much just be 20 units like every day. Um, it's not really going to give us insightful data. But but there are a lot of sellers that don't have not set a maximum order quantity. So what you can do is you can just one day you know you have an Excel file, open up the Helium 10 Chrome extension for that product. How many do they have in stock? Okay, and you know you do that for like 10 10 competitors. So you have 10 competitors on the left, and then day one, boom, that's one column. Then day two, three, four, five, and go up to like eight, seven or eight days um, is usually what I like to do. And you can just see how how many they're selling per day. What's the delta, right? They had 100, and now they have 90. How many do they sell? They sold 10, right? Because now they have 90. So really simple math. Um, so you can use that. I, I That's what I like to do. Um, I like, that's how I like to use the tool as well. And then as well as profitability calculator. I also have the um, AMZ Scout calculator, uh, Chrome extension, which is also free, but uh, this works really well. You just kind of enter in your different um, information. So you're obviously you make sure the dimensions are correct and weighed and all the other um, information here, make sure the data is correct. And then it'll kind of give you profitability, I believe ROI, yep. So yeah, margin, ROI, all that kind of information, really great to kind of help you calculate or estimate potential profitability and ROI for a specific product. So calculator, inventory levels, the graph, these are all really great. Um, yeah, little quick revenue calculator down here. I like to use the profitability calculator more. It's a little bit more in depth. And then lastly, to kind of finish off, all right, if we go up here, so to the um, Chrome extension kind of toolbar, we've already looked at X-Ray. If we pull up X-Ray right now, it's just gonna show us information for this product specifically. I like to use X-Ray for looking at a category as a whole, but it, it can still be useful to you as well. We already looked at profitability calculator. We already looked at inventory level. And the last thing to look at, and I this is actually, Honestly, one of my favorite things about um, uh, the Helium 10 Chrome extension is review downloader. And I believe this has currently unlimited uses. Again, you can check, it, it may change over time. Super powerful, okay? One of the most important things when, when doing product research um, is obviously you know figure out how are you gonna be different and better than every single other option out there. And using keywords helps you estimate demand. It, it can also help you differentiate. But what I find, the data that really helps me differentiate are reviews, okay? So what you can do here, and this is great, you wanna make sure you're only looking at verified reviews. So you can basically download these reviews into an Excel file or a CSV file and, and analyze it that way instead of doing it manually. Um, so you can make sure you only download verified reviews. You can choose the date. I like to do just kind of the entire, usually I like to do the entire date, uh, the entire range of just all reviews. Um, if you want to, only with you know, video images, only helpful, but I usually just do you know, make sure it's verified. And why I say that and why I don't unclick this is because number one, unverified reviews, and I had some products that had unverified reviews, they're all now gone. I think Amazon is now you know, not allowing unverified reviews. Like you have to basically buy the product in order to review it. So you just know that by selecting only verified reviews, you're only gonna get um, accurate data. But for whatever reason, you may, um, you, know, you may have other reasons for using the tool. So I go ahead and I hit extract. And there's two really cool things here that you can do. So up here, it's, it's kind of blurred out a little bit, but we can export the reviews. So we can export and actually download the reviews, right? Or we can just kind of look through here a little bit and just read them this way. But of course, it's more efficient, in my opinion, to export the reviews here. And what's really cool, what I really like, okay, is the analysis, right? So this is basically a word cloud organized as a table, okay? So it's very, very basic, but it's, I think the best review, Amazon review analyzer that we have yet. Hopefully something else comes out that's um, a little bit more powerful, but this is the best we have yet. So basically what Helium 10 does is it identifies um, um, common phrases that are, that are being written in reviews and it aggregates them together into clusters, okay? So for example, easy to use, easy to use. We can tell that this product, um, you know, we have 40, I believe, yeah, here we go, 40 reviews, and you can kind of go and read through them yourself, 40 reviews, okay? Um, that contain easy to use in them, right? So we could we could open this up and then we could open up another product and kind of see, you know, maybe one had a bunch of negative reviews that's difficult to use and another one had easy to use, right? You can kind of see how they're already differentiating. Um, and it just, well, it'll just, you'll see things that you wouldn't have thought of on your own. So it's really, really interesting. Obviously soap making, this is a soap mold. So yeah, soap out. Um, that could be interesting to kind of look in for making for soap. Silicone mold. So some are very basic. You know, great product works great. Very pleased, right? So so a lot of um, a lot of positivity, right? And the overall you know review rating is four point seven. So obviously you know this this seller knows what they're doing. But it's really great to look at a whole and 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 you could just you know export phrases from multiple sellers 
and kind of compare to see how are people, how are sellers and products positioning themselves in the market and figure out, okay, what is not being done already that I could do and kind of move into? Where's an empty space or an unsolved need that I could solve with my product, okay? So I really like this. Uh, again, you can export the data here or just you can just export the reviews in total. And when you download the data, it'll give you a lot of kind of nice data, not just like here's what they said, but a nice chart. Anyway, I, we're not talking about reviews, we're talking about the Chrome extension. Um, that pretty much summarizes. Um, yeah, so a lot of different uses, right? You have the Chrome extension kind of toolbar to where you can use, let me go back, uh, the toolbar, right? X-Ray for just analyzing product categories as a whole. Again, you have like 50 uses for free. There's the profitability calculator uh, that'll just kind of estimate obviously profit and ROI for a specific product, right? If, you, if you're gonna launch a similar product. Inventory level, we just wanna see basically how, like the real data on how a particular seller is selling over uh, a period of time. And then we have review downloader, great for differentiation, just understanding the market, understanding the audience here is really, really great. And then lastly down here, um, which I use a lot, is just kind of seeing when did they start selling, how have they been performing over time, right? If their sales rank is going up or down, and we can kind of compare this with other ASINs as well, as well as their change in price. So a lot of great data, again, um, all of it's free, some of it's limited. Make sure you go to the pricing page to make sure I'll include links to both of these below. If you have questions, let me know in the comments below. If you have anything that I missed, maybe there, um, there's something that's been added, let me know as well in the comments. And again, uh, if you like the video, seriously, it helps me out so much. You have no idea to hit the like button and subscribe. That's all you have to do. It helps me out a ton. And check out the description um, below. And again, thanks so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in future videos.